hi guys you are watching quality center and this video is going to be very important because in this video i will show you that how we can upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 also we will find out the most popular questions regarding the license and up and windows update because we are going to uh, perform this installation over the unsupported hardware so we will answer all of these questions whatever most of the people ask regarding that that how we can means uh, our license will shift or not we will see that and most importantly people are saying that when you are going to install windows 11 onto the unsupported hardware so you will not get any update so we are going to upgrade windows 10 onto the uh, windows 11 onto the unsupported hardware and currently you can see that we have a windows 10 so let's start the video and find out the answers as well so first of all you have to go on to the chrome browser then you have to type windows 11 download once you have downloaded once you have the chrome link then you have to scroll down it you can see that latest version 25h2 is available now we have to scroll down it scroll down it then we have to select the multi edition iso then confirm then you have to select the language so in all this step is very important because you will create a mess so you have to find out your system language or your current operating uh, system language so you have to type cmd then you have to right click on it run as administrator and then you have to type this command dism slash online slash get dash intl then you will get uh, your desired language so your current system language is united states so you have to select the united states english united states then you have to confirm it once you confirm it then you will have option of downloads so and downloading will be started you can see that so i have already downloaded the iso in order to save the time and let me show you the iso so so here is our ISO. So now what we have to do that uh, we have to cut this ISO and we have to go into the C drive. Then we have to right click it. We have to create one folder. Don't give space in the name of the folder. So like uh, when I'm giving simple name without space because it always creates a problem. Whenever you create any folder, don't create the don't put the space, especially when you are uh, going to perform the installation or when you are going to perform um, sharing means if you are sharing your folder so no space is needed keep in mind sometime it creates a very problem uh, very uh, serious problems so just right click on uh, just uh, go into the win 11 then you have to paste it you can say that it is it it has been pasted now we have to uh, extract here so it will be extract and it will take around uh, one minute or or 30 seconds not more than that till that time i am opening the command line so you have to run this admin you have to uh, run command line as an administrator and most importantly we are going to perform this installation genuinely without any third party intervention so everything is genuine and legal so it is about to copy it let me explore the folder till that time cd double dot cd double dot now i am on to the c drive dir so you can see that win 11 there is a folder so the command is dir win 11 cd win 11 so it is almost done now it is done so we have to cd win 11 now i will be in the folder So I am in the folder right now cd space min 11 so dir you will get a list of all files you can see that uh, setup file is here so setup slash forward slash and then you have to type 
product server and hit enter once you hit enter the setup will be open in front of you and this is a little technique through which all the hardware requirements will be bypassed so it is a wonderful technique and everything is going to be genuine and legal so now we have to change on that now we will let me show you license as well my windows license before starting that mm. so activation settings Once we click on to the activation settings, you can see that uh, my Windows is activated and my license is Windows 10 Enterprise. So if maybe in your case you will have a uh, Windows 10 Pro license or something else like Home Edition. So in my case it is Windows 10 Enterprise. So let's go for the installation. <coughs> So we will update windows later on because we have to check as well that uh, it will update or not after the installation over the unsupported hardware so for time being i'm just going on to the not for now and if you want to go with the this option you can also go with that, that uh, this option and it is also recommended so i'm going to perform this practical uh, over the test machine so i'm going for that because i want to show you that after the installation we can update windows as well so these are the rumors so we will check both both of the, these things so so we have to just click on to the next So accept the license we are going we are going to install the windows 11 and most importantly we are going to upgrade windows 10 to windows 11 so we will keep files and settings and apps as it is so we are going for this option next now the installation is being ready So all is ready, install Windows 11 Enterprise if in your case you have a Windows 10 Pro so it you will have Windows 11 Pro so in my case it is Enterprise so it, it has automatically selected the Enterprise so now all, all the things are ready now good to go now we are going to install it. 
so you can see that windows 11 ha is being installed in front of you and it would take around 45 minutes to one hour and most importantly here you can see that we have installing server installing windows server because we play a little trick over the command line by using the product server keyword uh, so no need to confuse yourself you are installing genuine windows 11 so no need to worry about that so just ignore it so i'm going to stop this video once done we will find out the answer and uh, we will also check the update so genuine windows 11 25 h2 latest has been installed successfully so now let's find out the answers of the questions so first of all we will check out the license you can see that license state is active and windows is activated with digital license so and uh, so license automatically shifted uh, once you upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 so license has been shifted successfully and you can see that windows 11 enterprise in your case maybe you will get windows 10 pro so you will have windows 11 pro and you will have respective license so once you going for the upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 so no need to worry about that it will be done second thing let's check out the windows update I'm opening this option so once the update is available it will show the it will show the update instantly I have opened this option and now I'm going to check the updates so let's see what happens So you can see that it has successfully detected the updates and updates are being downloaded and once it is downloaded then it will be installed so everything is good so no need to worry about that if you have old computers if you have new computer no need no need to worry about that just go for the windows uh, 11 and on always download windows 11 from the official website microsoft 3 uh, microsoft official website stay safe stay active and you can see that update uh, the updating is being updates are being downloaded and now it is stalling you can see that everything is good and perfect in front of you and most importantly once you going for the upgrade from windows 10 to 11 through this way forward so you will not face any license issue secondly you will not face any issue regarding your update and your your computer will keep updated with the passage of time so it will become secure thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends bye bye